What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back with another Cleveland Cavaliers rumor video for you guys. As we are now officially two days away from the start of NBA free agency. And the Cavs list of free agent targets continues to grow. As in this video, I'm going to talk about the latest names to be rumored as possible targets for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And they're names that I think would fit really well on the Cavs. In fact, I've talked about a couple of these players before. But before I get into this article, I got to address the elephant in the room. Because I know y'all, if y'all are on Twitter anyway, I know y'all saw this tweet from NBA Central. And for those who aren't on Twitter and you don't know what I'm talking about, here's the tweet from NBA Central earlier this morning. And I quote, the Cavs are open to potential Darius Garland trades per at Amico Hoops. So look at that. Sam Amico out here causing a stir on Cavs Twitter. This tweet had Cavs Twitter buzzing. Honestly, it had NBA Twitter buzzing because you had fans of other teams out here proposing trades for Darius Garland. And if you ask me, if the Cavs were to trade Darius Garland, it wouldn't be for a bunch of bums. The only way I see us trading DG is if it's for a top-tier star-level player like a Dame Lillard or Paul George or someone like that. So in essence, I don't see us trading Darius Garland. We just extended him. And Kobe Altman views him as a critical piece of the core. Now, Jared Allen, on the other hand, I could see him getting dealt. But I don't think we trade any of the core four. No. And I already see the people on Twitter talking about, oh, the Cavs could trade Donovan Mitchell. No. Stop it. Stop it right now. We're not trading Donovan either. I wouldn't be shocked if we extended him soon either. Imagine what NBA Twitter is going to talk about when we extend Spida. What are Knicks fans going to talk about? Because in their eyes, he's practically a Nick, right? Right? What are they going to do if we extend Spida? Ah, oh, he would just leave after that contract's over with. The dude's going to be freaking old as hell by the time that contract's over with. <laughs> Come on now. I highly doubt we trade him. Especially if we want to keep contending, right? Who knows? Who knows what Kobe's cooking up, though? <laughs> well, all I know is one thing. If we were to trade Darius Garland, Cavs Twitter would be in an uproar. Yep. Because you'd have Cavs fans that were pissed, that are pissed that we traded him. And then you'd have the Cavs fans that are excited because they don't like Darius for some reason. Now, me? I would hate it if we traded DG. I love DG, right? You know? He's one of the big pieces of the core. He's a bucket getter. You know, he runs the offense. And he's freaking awesome as a person, too. It would stink if we got rid of him. Now, if we were to trade him for PG or Dame, I would allow it. Because those two players are elite. But they're older. That's the thing. They're older. You wouldn't have them for as long. And they're kind of getting past their prime a little bit. They're not past their prime already, but they're they're getting close, you know. But yeah, DG, he's that dude, you know. He's still young, and like I said, we just extended him. We have no reason to trade him. He's a literal critical part of the core. Well, how would we trade him just after extending him? It makes no sense, right? Now, shout out to Chris Fedor, who came out a little bit later and essentially poured water on that fire as he tweeted this and I quote, Cavs have not had any discussions about trading all-star point guard Darius Garland and don't intend to move him. Sources tell at cleveland.com. And then of course, Spider, who's also been a topic of trade rumors over the past couple weeks and stuff because, you know, people want him out of Cleveland for some reason. He had this to say and I quote, I see we are bored this beautiful afternoon. Quotations around beautiful. Because if you live in Cleveland, I mean, uh, you can barely see in front of you because of the smoke from Canada. Canada's burning again. And here I thought the fires were over with. Nope. Nope. So my prayers go out to everyone affected by the fires. If anyone's affected at all, because I know Canada is like mostly forest as well. 
As long as it stays away from, like, you know, towns and stuff. Yeah. But, of course, Spider has to come out and, uh, you know, talk about what's been going on on Twitter. But with that being said, let's talk about today's article from Bleacher Report. As this post was uh, put up earlier today, and uh, as you can see, and I quote, the Cleveland Cavaliers are reportedly targeting four stretching wings in free agency this summer. Oh, really? With Max Struess, George Niang, that's a new name, and Kelly Oubre Jr. among their potential targets. I've already talked about Struess and how much I want him, and Kelly Oubre, same thing. But George Niang, that's a new name. And honestly, George Niang is probably a very good bench option. I don't think he'd be a starter on this team. But he would be really good coming off the bench. He really would. And then Jake Fisher also added, a, or at least this article added, Jake Fisher of Yahoo Sports highlighted the trio of free agents who could be on the radar in Cleveland, which will have the full non-taxpayer mid-level exception, 12.2 million to work with. And I believe we also have a biannual exception, which is about like four, four and a half million dollars too. So we have that little bit of money to use as well. But honestly, I would love any of those three, but you know how much I want Struess or Kelly Oubre. So we look at the updated list of free agent targets that have been mentioned with the Cavs. Of course, I've talked about Kendrick Nunn, Derek Jones Jr., and Josh Richardson. TJ Warren was a name that I didn't even see listed on that tweet, but Hoops Wire mentioned him as a target for the Cavs, so I added him. And then you add the new names, Struess, Oubre, and Yang, and you start to see that our target list is starting to grow a little bit. And I will keep this updated for when more names are added. And uh, it'll be very interesting to see what we do in free agency. By the way, shout out to Tyler Conway for posting that little rumor article that I just talked about. So, uh, yeah, I expect a lot more of that stuff to come over the next couple of days as free agency gets underway. And I expect the Cavs to be somewhat busy because they need a 3 and D wing that can shoot and defend. They need it. It's a need. You know, they also kind of want it, but they need it too. They could also go for a solid backup center. Yeah. Because uh, we want to have Jared Allen, you know, fresh. <laughs> we don't want to run him into the ground again. You know? But, uh, yeah. Our list is going to get bigger. And I don't know if you notice anything. But uh, there's no uh, centers listed yet. It's mainly all forwards, mainly. So we'll see what else is cooked up over the next uh, several days. And, of course, if and when the Cavs make a signing, you already know. I'll have the video out, depending on how notable the player is. Like, for instance, if the Cavs go out and sign any of these players that you see on your screen, I will make a video talking about the signing and giving you a little background info on the player and everything, like I always do. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And uh, I'll have my draft reaction video out later tonight for the Blue Jackets number three pick, as rumors are starting to come out that they like a couple names at the third pick. I've heard Fantilli, Smith, and Carlson. Those are the big three. If Yarmo goes out and gets Mitchkov, whoo boy, you're going to want to see that reaction. Because that's a name I am not heard connect connected to us at all. In fact, I even heard the Blue Jackets didn't even meet with him. That's just a Yarmo thing to do. He loves going after those European players out of nowhere. Right? But with that being said, guys, I'm Crazy Dog. Let's go, Cavs. I'll see you later tonight. And uh, in terms of streams, I'll be back tomorrow for Guardians and Royals, Bieber versus Granky. Hopefully the Guardians can win the night, too. But we'll see. So with that being said, I'm Crazy Dog. Let's go, Cavs.
and I'm out. Bye-bye. Yeah.